This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports authorities were searching early Tuesday for a small aircraft that disappeared from radar and radio contact the night before. Lynn Lunsford, a spokesman for the Federal Aviation Administration, said a single-engine Piper Comanche that departed from Abilene, Texas, and was en route to Norman, Oklahoma, lost contact about 7.30 p.m. Monday night when the craft was somewhere near Albany, Texas, about 150 miles west of Dallas. Lunsford said officials were still trying to determine who was on the airplane. He said the FAA was working with local authorities to determine what happened to the craft. The Associated Press reports a uniformed officer will ride each Dallas-area commuter train after a series of violent incidents, including the shooting death of a person on a trail platform. The Dallas Morning News reports that the Dallas-area Rapid Transit Agency added more officers to trains and platforms in January. DART Executive Director Gary Thomas told the Garland City Council that there is a uniform presence on every single train we're running. He says that will continue indefinitely. More trains and buses are getting security cameras as well. An officer was present at a DART station in suburban Richardson on February 7th when 27-year-old Corey Jones of Dallas allegedly instigated a shootout that killed a bystander. Jones fled and was later killed while exchanging fire with officers. KHOU.com reports the Texas economy is coming back, but the state budget is still in trouble. The chairman of the Legislative Budget Board, John O'Brien, told lawmakers Tuesday that they did not appropriate enough to cover state expenses for Medicaid and other programs. The state is short more than $4.1 billion in the current budget. The chief revenue estimator for the Texas Comptroller, John Hellman, said the Texas economy had rebounded faster than the rest of the nation. He also said that the state had recovered more than 440,000 jobs but that many people had moved to Texas since 2008 and have not found jobs. Hellman also said that the state's rainy day fund has $6.1 billion and will have $7.3 billion by the end of the fiscal year. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.